Meanwhile, the chairman of the Kano State Public Complaint and Anti-Corruption Commission, Muhuyi Magaji, has denied claims that the agency is being used to witch hunt the former governor of the state and national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullah Gunduji. This development came in the face of arraignment of the former governor in court over bribery allegations and the move to suspend him from the APC by his ward in Dawakin Tofa, local government area of the state. In this report, TVC News correspondent Ayo Dele Ozubakon takes a look at the travails of the former governor. The national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, is enmeshed in a battle to salvage his job, following plots to suspend him from the party at his ward level in Kano State. The plot to sack Ganduje came to the fore when some persons who claimed to be APC leaders in Ganduje ward of Dawaki Tofa local government area of the state declared that the national chairman was suspended because of allegations of corruption leveled against him by the state government. But in a swift counter move, the state working committee of the APC dismissed the suspension. The state working committee in turn suspended the APC leaders who pronounced the suspension of Ganduje. But the battle is far from over for the former governor, compounding the travels of the APC national chairman. The Kano State Public Complaint and Anti-Corruption Commission is accusing Ganduji of diversion and misappropriation of public funds. Interest 700 million naira back to one of his son. 700 million naira was sent to uh, an account of, 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 of a Berudi change who compelled to the commission that he issued dollar. We have a bank official that compelled us that she was the one that counted the dollar, authenticated the dollar, and they take it to, to, to the person in question. These cases started when he was the governor of Kano State. It, it is in the news that for two years I was eight out of the office. It is the Abuja National Industrial Court and Kano National Industrial Court that asked me to go back. So the Kano said governor, present governor, only respect court order to allow me to continue with my job. Ganduje is expected to be arraigned alongside his wife and six others at the Kano High Court for alleged bribery. Political observers noted that what is playing out may be likened to the process that led to the removal of previous national chairman of the APC and the People's Democratic Party from office. So will history repeat itself against Ganduje? Days ahead will determine if Ganduje will survive this plot to unseat him as the APC national chairman. Ayodele Zubaku, TVC News, Abuja.